bit of a stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? A girl who has everything. First deep breath. Take it all in. Feel all those halogens warming your skin. Smell how they pump in pure oxygen. Yeah, you have my pillows. See, oh, they, they, care. Care. they might have glitter on them. Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm here with my friend Bailey. Hey. So, um, today we are going to be doing a requested video, which is some no heat summer hairstyles. And I invited, um, Bailey over to do this with me because I was like, oh, you have long hair. Well, no, her hair is like the same length as mine. Um, basically. I got it cut. Okay, so we're each going to be showing you two styles. So, yeah, let's just get started. So this first hair I like to do with scrunched hair um, because I did it a lot at the beach and you don't want to straighten your hair at the beach because there's just no point. It curls up. So that's why it's going to look a little weird because it's straight. I literally just take, because I have a like sort of middle part. It's not completely middle, but it kind of is. Okay, so I'm like looking at this mirror, so don't judge me. I take the very first part at the top, just a tiny bit. My baby hairs are flying everywhere. And then you just do a regular braid. When I do the other, then you start the French braid, which is grabbing hair over, grabbing hair from this side, over, and repeat. <laughs> Once you get about this, about this far down, you start regular braiding, and if you want to, you can tie it off with a hair tie, but I feel like that kind of makes me look like I'm a little young, so I just body pin it back and such. So once you get to about here, just pin it back with a bobby pin, like normal people do. Okay. And then you got your cute little, it makes me look like my part's farther over, so nobody will make fun of me anymore. Anyway, and um, some people like to do like the crown braid, which is you only take, you only add more hair from one side, and you just regular braid from the other side, and it makes it look different. Okay, so most everybody knows what a fishtail braid is by now. So usually you just split your hair in two sections and you fishtail it, but... My hair sucks. It's really layery, and if I don't layer it, it's really heavy, and I just don't like it. So I like to do a mini fishtail back, and I think it's really cute if it's done right. <laughs> so you just start. If you don't know how to do a fishtail, this is actually going to show you. Yay! Start with a good sized piece of hair, and you split it in half like you're doing a fishtail braid. It's kind of hard to do it this way because you have to do it in an angle, but you'll be fine. You take hair from one of the sides, a good amount. You can do it smaller or bigger depending on how large you want your braid to be or how it looks different anyway. And you cross it over to the side and you hold it with a sand. And you take hair off the edge of this one and cross it over to this side. Make sure to pull it tight or you'll end up with a big bump. Just repeat the process. Oh, when the saints go marching in, uh, when the saints come marching in, uh, uh, oh, now I want to be Oh, when the saints come marching in, So, now that we've sped this up and finished it, it's going to look a little bit like this. It's kind of big. I use bigger strands for this one. I don't know. I was just feeling it. And next step is to obviously pin it back. You can leave it down like I said with the other one. But I don't know. It, make, it makes me look like a kid. Okay. I'm kind of kid looking anyway. If that makes any sense. It doesn't. So I like to pin it back. If you didn't know, if you cross the bobby pins, it works better. I'm pretty sure everybody knew that. And I put mine in 
backwards because it works better too. And then you have this awkward, stupid baby hair. There you go. Mine's a little messed up right here, so if you want to add some bobby pins up in there. There you go. Okay guys, so for my hairstyles, you're first going to want to start by brushing out your hair. And the first one I'm going to show you is seriously takes two minutes it's so easy and I love to wear it because I think it looks really good if you're like going out or something um I'll try and insert some pictures if I have them of when I've worn this hairstyle um I know I wore it a few months ago um when I went to um a charity event so basically all you do I like to do it on the side where I don't have as much hair um so it's like opposite from my part and you just grab a little bit of hair from the front and you're gonna split it into three sections which like this and then you're just gonna braid it like normal like seriously this is the easiest hairstyle ever but I think it looks so cute um and you could do it with your hair curly or straight you know it doesn't really matter but this is no heat so we're gonna go with natural hair and then you're just gonna bobby pin it in place And um, depending on how thick of a piece of hair you do, depends on obviously how many bobby pins you're going to need, but I normally do a generally thin piece of hair just because it's what I like. So that is my first hairstyle. Let's move on to my second one. So for my second hairstyle, it's a really easy half up, half down hairstyle. I've worn it in several videos recently, and so I thought I'd share it with you. So it's really, really quick. All you do is gather hair on either side. We're going to end up going on both. As much as you like, I like to go, you know, to my ears. It's just what I prefer. Split it into two sections, and you're just going to twist it, um, like so. And make sure you're going toward the back, because what we're going to do next is tie it off. Um, like this. It doesn't have to be, you know, pretty, because we're going to go and do... The same thing on the other section of hair and it's going to twist it okay once you get to the back of your head join the two pieces together take out that hair tie and then tie them together just like that you can make them as loose or as tight as you want okay so as you can see I have bangs and like little baby hairs you can leave them down if you want but I prefer to hairspray them it's just my preference or you could bobby pin them I guess but I'd rather just hairspray it so you don't have all the bobby pins so this is just Tresemme um, extra firm control hairspray it's the number four one um, it's just a little baby bottle um, and that is basically it. I used to wear my hair up in a bun with tons of hairspray every single day in the fourth grade. And I'm talking about like floppy bun because my mom was terrified I was going to get lice. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on these four different hairstyles. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Um, and also, comment down below if you think Bailey should make her own channel, because I think she should. Um, she doesn't think she should, but comment down below if you think she should. And we'll have another video together on Wednesday, and it's going to be the 10 products under $10 video, so make sure you look out for that. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, in this day, that's your music to marching.